Alpha Conference and uh, going from there to Paris and then to Holland to do some meetings. And uh, just found out that color was going to be here. And so we kind of invited ourselves. My son said, <laughs> My son asked Bobby if I could come and speak, and she graciously said yes, they'd let me come and do that. And so then Gary decided to let me come over here, and so I've just been having all kinds of wonderful opportunities and glad to be here. Um, the message that I'm going to preach on this morning was kind of interesting. When Gary saw my notes, saw I was going to preach on, he said, that's interesting. I started a series on that last weekend. And then he said somebody else had been through here to speak, and they were speaking on the same thing. And so let me just simply say that if God sends you three people <laughs> all saying the same thing, it's not that we can't find anything else to preach. Because none of us know what the other one is saying. And actually, it's kind of funny because I kind of tried to get out of preaching this one with God and went to something else. And then even last night, I got up out of bed and went and looked at all the notes I had. And I thought, well, maybe I won't preach that. I'll preach something else. And then I was just like, nope, that's what I'm supposed to preach. So I only say this because I think if God's going to give you something three times, then surely it's something you need to not only need, but you need to really listen to and take seriously. So the, the title of what I'm teaching today is just called Sit, Stand, Walk, and Run. Sit, Stand, Walk, and Run. And actually the Bible tells us to be seated in Christ, to stand in God, and to stand against the devil, stand against the enemy, to walk with God, to walk in love, to walk as he walked, to walk in faith, and to run our race, and to run it with joy. So we see that we are to sit, stand, walk, and run. But I think the thing that we miss sometimes is that it has to be done in that order. You see, you cannot run if you've never learned how to walk, and you can't walk if you haven't learned how to stand, and you can't stand if you've never learned how to sit. And so I like to use the analogy of... Um, a baby, they always start out laying down in a crib, and we have a, a grandchild now that's going to be a year old in June, and uh, we watched him go through the sitting stage, and uh, even when learning to sit, he'd fall over, <laughs> and they'd prop him back up, and he'd fall over, we'd prop him back up. You know, it's kind of like God is sometimes. We don't realize that we fall over, and then he's there propping us back up, and get us to back where we look like we're really hot stuff. And uh, then he started standing, and he's still a little bit shaky at that. He's still holding on to the furniture, but even with that, he falls down, but it doesn't deter him. He gets right back up, falls down, gets right back up. And you know, as believers in Christ, that's what we have to learn to do. We fall down, we get right back up. We fall down and we get right back up. And you know, he may lay there for a little bit and cry, like we do sometimes when we fall, but he always gets back up. Amen? And as believers in Christ, we should make a determined decision that no matter what, we are always going to get back up and we are going to keep on keeping on and learn how to run our race. Now, as soon as he learns to stand real good, which he's kind of at that position now, it's a little shaky, but he's kind of... Now, he's just on the verge of starting to take steps. And so, next he'll walk, and then eventually he will learn to run. Well, why is it so important that I would press the point that we need to learn to do these things in this order? Because, literally, if you don't do it in that order, then you really can't do it at all. And I think what a lot of baby Christians do is 